Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here, mostly of lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, jewelry, books, and even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. And if you're on Instagram, I hope you'll follow me there as well. I do have an account, Maui underscore Noelle, that is dedicated to this channel, where I do some close-ups of some of my favorite items, as well as flat lays. And then a lot of the times I'm able to show you how I'm actually using the products or items in my regular life. Today I have Anchor of Hope for you. Now I have opened this box a couple of times on this channel and I really like Anchor of Hope because it is a box with a cause. So they work with people who are either refugees or have been victims of human trafficking or have just been in other sort of vulnerable situations around the world to bring you three beautiful items every single month. It's usually pretty much a surprise but they do do some spoilers in their social media as the month goes along. It is $36 a month or if you're going to do a little bit of a longer subscription like I do, I think it's $99 for three months and that does include the shipping, which is always sort of nice. So it comes in this beautiful a box. It's like this dark, dark blue with these pretty florals. And then inside, let's see what we've got this time. So they always have this very pretty teal tissue and this beautiful little gold heart. So I actually really love this box. I think it's a nice dose of sort of like global items. And again, like I said, it makes you feel good because you know you are supporting people in need and helping them sort of get ahead in life. So let me just open this up. There's always a nice product sheet that tells us what everything is. I don't think it includes the retail values, but I will double check and see. So. Here is their product sheet that they always have. It just tells you about their mission, their cause, and then it talks about what they do. They meet monthly with a group of local women, teaching them a new skill every month and paying them for their hard work. So it's kind of cool that they're actually teaching people skills that they can use for the future. And then let's see what it says on the back. It tells us our three different items. And of course it gives us some beautiful images of the people who have made these items and tells us a little bit more about them. So let's see what we've got. I'll just give you a quick peek of what it looks like inside. So first thing I am seeing is actually kind of big and it is a very cool macrame plant hanger. So macrame has been in style for a couple of years now. It's got that kind of boho chic look going to it. I don't have any pieces yet myself, but I love this. It is small, so it doesn't have to take up an entire wall. And I think it's really beautiful, just a wall hanging and you can just put a small potted plant in there. If you have a green thumb, of course, you can have a plant that you actually have to take out in water or of course you could just put like one of those artificial succulents in there and that's just gonna look just as nice so like I said I love that it's not super big it's just a nice accent maybe I'll even hang it here on the California wall that's behind me where we have all different California pieces of art which wouldn't actually work right because I'm pretty sure this is not from California so let's see what it says it says this beautiful handmade macrame plant hanger comes from the Imani collective an artisan group started in a small village outside of Mumbai Kenya to help mothers earn a second income for their families and keep their children in school. In addition to fair steady wages, Imani Collective provides child education sponsorships, emergency medical funding, an in-house child enrichment program, and financial literacy training to its artisans. So I love this. I love that it's neutral. It's simple. Like I said, not too big. So I feel like it can go with a lot of different kinds of decor. And I am excited to put a plant in there. And like I said, this is one of the things that I might show you on my Instagram account once once I get a plant in there and have it hung up on the wall so you can kind of see it in action. All right, great piece to start with. Love that. It does not have the retail values, just so you know. The next thing I am seeing comes in this little mesh jewelry bag, and it is a handmade necklace. It says this hand-rolled necklace comes from Project Have Hope, a nonprofit organization that seeks to empower women in the Acholi quarter of Uganda, a slum that is home to thousands of war refugees who fled the LRA in northern Uganda. Project Have Hope provides education to women and their children. And let me just show you the little card that comes in here. And then on the back, it says, thanks for taking us from nowhere to somewhere. That is the quote that they included. Project Have Hope empowers Ugandan artisans through the sale of handcrafted jewelry made from recycled paper. 
Varnished for durability, the vibrantly colored beads are crafted into wearable art. Each purchase supports our mission of educating women and children and providing business opportunities to empower women and give them the courage to dream. So I kind of shifted from the longer paragraph to this more uh, condensed version, but I think that gave us a good overview. This is gorgeous, you guys. So that is so cool that these beads are actually made out of, what did I say? I think paper. So let me see if I can get that to focus a little bit better for you. So it is in this beautiful sort of teal color and then this sort of like antiqued um, copper color. I think it's not really focusing. Let me see if I can do a better job of that. So here it is. There we go. Now it's focused. You can kind of see the texture. And then so you can see that it's kind of got this like slimmer area up the part that would go around your neck and then a couple of beads. And then I'm going to see what this clasp how this works. I'm not really sure. Maybe it just goes over your head. I don't know. I have kind of a big head, you guys. Oh, it went right over. So this is this is good. I don't have to fiddle with the clasp. You know, if you've watched any of my unboxing videos where there are necklaces, sometimes a little tricky. Um, coloring wise, it definitely goes with the shirt, but definitely not the neckline wise. But I am super excited about this. I think it's pretty. This is not a color that I wear very often. A lot of the times when you get sort of like ethnic jewelry, I feel like it's really much, very much a statement piece and not something that you can use all the time. But this is something I think that I could actually layer with different things. So like like I said, it is recycled paper that they create these beads out of, and I think it's really beautiful. I'm very happy to have this, and again, I'm very happy to support the cause. The final thing, often we get a, like an edible thing, like I've gotten spices in here. Um, this time we got some fair trade chocolates. So it looks like I've got like four truffles in here. These delicious chocolates from Alter Ego support small scale farmers and their families. Alter Ego works with 13 fair trade farmer co-ops in eight countries, paying 56% higher than the typical fair trade chocolate price because they work with farmers directly. So that is awesome. It says they use 94% fair trade certified ingredients support regenerative farming farming practices and are working towards 100% recyclable or compostable packaging in 2020. So that is pretty cool. Always love some chocolate. There is definitely an importance of finding fair trade chocolate out there in the world. So like I said, this isn't necessarily a box where you're going to get like three times the value. It's not like a cause box or a fab fit fun, but it is a box that has beautiful items that are really unique where you know that you are supporting good cause and I actually love all of the items this month so let me know what you think what your favorite item is and if you like this video I hope you will give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you all very very soon in my next unboxing